Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome to the channel news for uh, November. Uh, there's a few things on the channel to look forward to uh, this month. Uh, it's not doing too bad. Uh, we've got War Tech Fighters. Uh, that one's got the game about the mechs and the shooting and the tutorials and it seems to have a bit of a storyline so I'm really interested in that one. As well as on top of that we've got also got, I believe it was, Tyler Model 5. That one was a really fun one to play. I actually enjoyed it. Didn't get too far in the game. I seem to be somewhere near the upstairs um, hallway now. Uh, but it's a game where you play as a small model robot and you sort of seem to move throughout the house in a lot of different locations. And it too has a storyline. I'm wondering whatever happened to the creator. You know, the guy that created the little robot. Maybe he's looking. Maybe the little robot is looking for its creator. I'm not really sure. Um, the storyline on that one seems really interesting. Uh, I've been looking into doing some of the StarCore tournaments for the Robot Arena 2. Uh, the StarCore AI pack, uh, which I believe is a modded version of Robot Arena 2. As well as we're still continuing on with Naruto Konoha Legends. I believe the next character up will be Jiraiya. So uh, that'll be looked forward to on that. As far as it goes with uh, Vroom Kaboom, uh, I have a lot of fun with it. But it's hard to make great videos out of it. I'm not really sure if it's going over so well uh, So with the audience. So what I'll be doing with that is um, I'm going to uh, make one more video of the last faction, which would be the Skullboro faction, uh, which is sort of like the Mad Max uh, default guys you start off with. Um, I'll be making a video featuring a lot of their uh, vehicles and some of the things that I unlock from them, and then I'll probably put that series to rest. As well as, um, I finally found a way, I don't know if this is still relevant to anyone uh, who's watching the channel, but I finally found a way to record and finish uh, one of the games that I left al uh, left al alongside a long time ago, was uh, Besieger. <clears throat> I'll actually be able to uh, finish Besieger by running it in compatibility uh, compatibility mode with uh, Windows 95, I believe it was. It was, either, it was either Windows 95 or Windows 98. Yeah, it was definitely Windows 98. Uh, it still has a tendency to crash, but it usually plays for... I played a skirmish match that went on for like three hours before it finally crashed. And it's usually some 404 error that has nothing to do with the game, the PC. It's just some sort of compatibility error. So what I'll do is I'll get back to the main storyline, um, uh, pick up from where I left off, get to where I was, and then... Uh, I'll just use screen capture instead of actual game recording and as I'm capturing the screen when the game freezes I'll just pause the recording and uh, go back to the game afterwards and splice together that uh, footage just like I normally would for Mugen whenever it crashes. Sometimes during Let's Plays that's something you just have to deal with especially with uh, games that are you know have compatibility issues or they've been uh, developed by independent developers or perhaps like um, well that is in the independent developers sometimes you deal with those issues uh, in terms of crashes also I've been looking into a lot of um, emulator games and technologies well not technologies that's kind of pushing it you know. but uh, I've been looking into a lot of stuff for emulators I have a play a working PlayStation 1 emulator a working PlayStation 2 emulator a working Nintendo 64 emulator and I think that's about it although I have had a working Game Boy Advance uh, emulator before uh, but I don't need that right now uh, I have a lot of different games that are on emulation I'm not really sure if they work yet I have to test them uh, the ones I've found that work so far uh, would be oh man I still uh, Super Mario uh, World uh, I got that one to work Super Mario 64 um, Super Mario Karts, I got that one to work. Um, I believe Crash Team Races uh, would work uh, because Banjo Kazooie uh, Racers came from the same developers, and I believe that's going to work. Um, I thought about doing that as like a, mm, I thought about doing that as like a Sunday special thing, where I uh, go back to some of the old classics from the uh, N64 and PlayStation One era. Uh, it not, might not be such a bad idea, I'm not really sure. Uh, so all of those things, uh, and you know, hopefully much more to look forward to uh, in um, November, and then in December as well. Uh, I'll be redesigning some of the stuff around the channel, you know, uh, just like new playlists and such, moving things around, uh, maybe, possibly, uh, a few changes to the channel banner. Uh, I think I'll keep my avatar the same since I can't really draw a new one, but I would like a really cool avatar, that one's kind of basic. but. Those are all the changes and things coming to the channel for the month. Uh, I'm still trying to catch up after Hurricane Michael. Um, 
But I did try to upload like seven videos this week, like one every day, and I still only wound up with three. So I think what I'll do is I'll just space them out like I've been doing, focus on Monday, uh, Wednesday, Friday, and hopefully uh, Sunday. That way there'll be two days back to back instead of, um, you know, instead of like missing three days in a row. Um, but uh, that's all the stuff I have uh, for this month. I hope that I answered any questions you might have. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, take it easy, my friend.